we have been given two conclusions uh, which are all studs being trees is not a possibility no tree is a toy so basically one is a possibility type of conclusion and the other one is a definite conclusion and our job is to find out which of these options which are nothing but statements here right options here are statements so we have to find out which of these statements uh, will have the given two conclusions as true okay usually the reverse is the process statements are given and we are supposed to identify the right set of conclusions here conclusions have been given and we are supposed to find out the right set of statements okay now what do we do very simple draw the basic diagram for each of these options and see which diagram satisfies both the conclusions i mean try and identify using the diagrams there and in the process many times it so happens that you'll be able to identify or eliminate some options easily but to begin with let's just draw the diagram for option one so some trees are boots some trees are boots how do you draw some trees are boots option one here right some trees are boots so trees and boots some trees are boots then no boot is a stud no boot is a stud so no boot is a stud and all studs are toys all studs are toys i think we have got two things are starting with t here so let's take tr and ty properly okay some trees are boots some trees are boots no boot is a stud no boot is a stud and all studs are toys now see the conclusions verify the conclusions from option one what happens all studs being trees is not a possibility it is all studs being trees is not a possibility or maybe if you want you can just verify conclusion two first right i mean see very clearly because i have practiced a lot i know that conclusion two does not satisfy this diagram so i can immediately eliminate option number one here let me show you how see look at conclusion two forget about conclusion one. look at conclusion no tree is a toy right the conclusion here is that no tree is a toy tree and toys cannot overlap with each other but is that really true well if you look at the basic diagram yes no tree is a toy is true but you know that if a conclusion satisfies the basic diagram does not mean that it is correct it has to satisfy all the possible diagrams and one possibility here is that if you draw toys in this fashion ty let's say the green colored one see what was the statement the statement was all studs are toys so instead of drawing smaller toys i can draw a bigger circle which represents toys are we violating any of the statements no even now all the statements are followed all studs are toys some trees are boots and no boot is a stud but the point is the moment you draw this other diagram the possible diagram you find that there is an overlapping between trees and toys you see the shaded re region here shows an overlapping between trees and toys and the moment trees and toys overlap can we say no tree is a toy no which means the first conclusion or the first set of statements here are wrong do it for second option now do it for option two what happens some studs are not boots now this is important some a's are not b's the statement form is some a's are not b's so some studs are not boots so studs here and boots here remember for some a's are b's and some a's are not b's in both the cases we have the same uh, diagram right same diagram uh, to draw but the point is in this case when you say some studs are not boots boots we are referring to the exterior region okay if it is some s some a's are b's we refer to the overlap region but here it says some studs are not boots so which studs are not boots this outside studs are not boots you getting it some out i mean these outside studs are not boots some studs are not boots so when you are drawing possible diagrams you have to remember that you cannot increase the overlapping you have to reduce the overlapping you are you are able to follow for some a's are b's some a's are b's when you are drawing possible diagrams what do you do you can increase the overlapping nothing wrong in that right you are able to follow my point when you draw the basic diagram for both some a's are b's and some a's are not b's it re re remains the same right there is no change in the diagram some a's are b's and some a's are not b's but what changes is the possible diagram so when you start drawing the possible diagram for some a's are b's you have to increase overlapping different possibilities will arrive but when you drawing some a's are not b's possible diagrams for some a's are not b's you have to decrease the overlapping right you have to decrease the overlapping or decrease the encroachment there so if i have to draw a possible diagram for this case i would try and uh, you know make s and b disjoint that's the point anyway so the first statement is drawn some studs are not boots then all trees are boots all trees are boots all the trees are boots which means all the trees should come inside b so what we can do here is all trees are boots let's put b here and t in this fashion all the trees you see all the trees are inside boots all trees are boots all the trees are inside boots and then it says no boot is a toy no boot is a toy so boots and toys will not overlap 
you getting it that's the diagram some studs are not boots all trees are boots and uh, then it says no boot is a toy <coughs> now look at the uh, statements first uh, look at the conclusions let us verify this uh, first conclusion here all studs being trees is not a possibility so is it true or false all studs being trees is not a possibility is it true or false it is true does it satisfy yes it satisfies see the point is what he says all studs cannot be trees it's not possible right focus on the word not all studs cannot be trees what happens if you try to take all studs inside trees see the fact is if you if you try to take all the studs inside trees it will automatically go inside boots also yes or no all the studs if you try to push inside trees what happens the moment you take all the studs inside trees automatically all the studs will also become inside boots but we know that some studs are not boots some studs are not boots so you cannot you cannot take all the studs inside boots that's what it only right here you have to decrease the overlapping i can make s and b disjoint but i cannot increase the overlapping there so if you try to take all the studs inside trees all the studs will become boots and hence this statement will get violated which statement some studs are not boots will get violated that is why all studs being trees is not possible all studs being trees is not possible first one satisfies look at second one no tree is a toy no tree is a toy very clearly no tree is a toy you don't even have to waste a second here right see toys cannot even touch boots there is no overlapping between toys and boots when toys cannot touch boots how do you think toys will touch trees not possible you are getting it trees are completely inside boots right T trees cannot come outside boots remember trees cannot come outside boots so if toys cannot touch trees i mean if toys cannot touch boots how will to toys touch trees not possible so no tree is a toy is also correct so both conclusion 1 and conclusion 2 are true according to option 2 here so that's your answer